Ten years ago, I developed a very bad GI bug, and I did not know what was wrong. It was urgent that I get to the hospital, and I did. And once I was admitted through the Johns Hopkins Emergency Department, the wheels were in motion to figure out what exactly was wrong with me. And I had the benefit of extraordinary care, doctors, nurses, everybody there treated me like I was their only patient, treated me like I was a member of their family, and made me feel confident that they were going to get to the root of the issue. A couple of times I was in a room on Nelson 7 facing the Bloomberg School of Public Health Hampton House, and that was a place when I was a student, Johns Hopkins undergraduate student, where I had the luxury of studying for my last two years as a public health major. And looking out to Hampton House and thinking about my experience as a student, my life being saved at Johns Hopkins Hospital, it was important to me, once I got better, to give back not only to the university, but also to the hospital and to some of the other divisions from medicine, nursing, as well as the Krieger School of Arts and Sciences. I decided to designate a gift re fairly recently to the Johns Hopkins School of Nursing Simulation Lab because when I was an employee at Japigo, I had learned about the use of anatomically correct models for work overseas. And it seemed like a natural tie to devote funding to this project. In addition, I, my husband and I have given money towards a scholarship, not a complete scholarship, but a gift towards a scholarship to make it possible for somebody to study and for the next great nurse to be able to offer extraordinary care. Someone who is trained not only in how to treat the problem, but also to have the interpersonal skills to be able to hold a patient's hand and reassure that it's going to be okay and that there is hope. I've been to Disney World, and while it's no picnic being a patient at Johns Hopkins, my experience was a positive one because of the people who treated me. My life was saved at Johns Hopkins Hospital, and for me to give back is something that I felt I had to do.